Hi, this is Jonathan from VanWindowsDirect.com. Today we're going to look at the CRL awning style camper van window. It's their part number FW904RS. This is a universal window that's extremely popular on camper vans, uh, Transit, Sprinter, Promaster, Envy, even early model Savannah Express and Econoline vans. It can be used in multiple positions, be it the passenger side sliding door, driver side forward, or even in the rear quarter positions. You'll want to double check the measurements for the location that you'd like to install the window. Make sure everything is going to work out for you. So let's go ahead and go over those measurements now. The width on the outside is going to be 33 and 3 8 while it's going to be 19 and 1 8 tall. Where your cut hole dimension is going to be 32 and a half wide and going to be 18 and a quarter tall. It's going to use a 1 8 inch clamp ring, so you're going to want to put it in a location where it's a single sheet metal. Nothing uh, double or triple metal wide, nothing 2 to 3 inches. Uh, just the flatter single sheet metal sections. That's where this will install perfectly. Now, the bottom of the window is going to crank out while the top is going to be stationary. Let's go ahead and take a look here. You got a knob on the inside, you'll just continue to turn as you wish to open it up and provide ventilation into the interior of the van. The dimensions on the opening are going to be set, uh, seven, inch, uh, seven and a quarter inches by 31 and a quarter inches and that's going to tilt out a good seven inches away from the van. So you'll want to keep that in mind especially when putting it in the passenger rear quarter area behind a sliding door. You want to make sure that uh, you accommodate for that or make sure you keep your window in so you don't slam that sliding door into the glass. So let's go ahead and flip this around, take a look on the inside. There's that crank open knob. There's your removable bug screen. Keeps uh, bugs and debris from getting in. Uh, it can also be popped off if you wanted to have a fully open uh, hole there. Your black aluminum frame all the way around and your rubber seal. The rubber seal, of course, is going to wedge on the outside of the van against the body. The aluminum frame is going to go through the hole you cut and attach to your trim ring. The trim ring, as you can see, has got a bunch of holes all the way around. Before you do your final installation onto the van, you'll want to put your trim ring onto the uh, aluminum frame of the window and put pilot holes all the way around. This will make it much easier when tightening up the window. Make sure you don't round the heads of the screws. With that said, this, since it is a universal window, you will need a template. Now, no windows come with templates, so let's go over an easy way to make one. Using the box that the window came in, simply take, take your trim ring, lay it on top. Now, what I often do is Go ahead and tape together the split, that way it stays nice and squared up. From the inside of the trim ring, you'll go ahead and draw all the way around onto your cardboard box. This will create your template. Cut the cardboard box out, and now you'll have the cardboard that you can in, uh, put on the outside of the van and draw it out on the body of the van to cut your hole. Again, this, uh, measure twice, cut once kind of thing. You want to make sure that you go to the inside of the trim ring, not the outside. That's a common mistake that happens. And if you go to the outside, the window will just simply fall through the wall of the van. So we don't want that. Again, this is the camper van awning style window from C.R. Lawrence, part number FW904RS. And it's available through vanwindowsdirect.com.